Hey guys, welcome to Sandra Dilbeck's <laughs> mindset, uh, midweek mindset, I think is what she calls it. She covered for me on Sunday when I was traveling from Vegas and she is actually in Texas traveling back to Ohio. This is her last night there with some of her family. So we swap places. So surprise is me. Um, we're going to go over like some of the standards, like we're going to do rate of run, things like that. And then we're going to talk about some simple basics that, and I love Sarah that you're on here with me because this is what you and I did yesterday. Um, and that speared for me going back to all of my basics. Um, we're just going to talk about basics that have created more activity and more new free accounts and more new trial pack people for me in the last 24 hours than the last month which I swear when I say that, it makes me want to like smack myself in the face, but whatever. Um, okay, so the first thing we're going to do is start with our rate of run. This is just to kind of show us like, where are we at? Where are we going? Um, so you're going to log into your cloud. Get logged in here. I have a dog at my feet. What are you doing, buddy? Um, right there on that very main page, you're just going to go to where it says my business dashboard. And right below that, it says business snapshot. Click on that. It's going to pop up like a big box of your PPA and qualifications. Look for the line that says current QV. That's the dollar amount that you and everyone in your downline, customers, um, promoters, their customers, their promoters, that is the dollar amount of volume that everyone has done so far. So you're gonna take that dollar amount and you're gonna divide it by 27 because today is the 27th of the month. And you're now looking at a new, much smaller number. And that smaller number is what you and your team have done on average on a daily basis. So we're going to take that average new number and we're going to multiply it by 31 because we have 31 days in October. And the final bigger number that you're looking at is what you and your team are projected to end the month at if you stay at the pace that you've been on all month. Um, my number is really low, <laughs> but I just told you yesterday was the first day that I went back to some basics and churn some numbers for the first time in what feels like forever. So um, it's my fault that my whole team number is low. Like these are the things I should have been just having people do all the time. So anyway, we're gonna work on that together, but that's your rate of run. Um, I want to ask you how that makes you feel. Like when you look at that number, how does that make you feel? Like I just told you my number is low um, and I don't know, that doesn't deter me, I guess is what I'm going to say. I, I've had low numbers, I've had high numbers, I've been in this for over six years. I know that when it's low, it gets back to high and vice versa. So, but I want you to ask yourself how it makes you feel. If when you look at that number, if it's not where you want it to be, are you somehow wrapping that around whether or not you're a good person or you're a good promoter or you're in the right business? Because here's the thing, you are not your number, you are your daily activities. And so I would much rather have a number that, I mean, and I, I've said this before, I check my rate of run a lot. Makes me gut check myself, reality check of what I may or may not have done this month. Yes, same Sarah, exact same thing. Um, and, and when I look at it, I don't even think just this month, I think the like two months prior, like what should I have been doing for the last three freaking months that I didn't? Um, and I will admit I had a leader, oh, I went to a leader retreat for fun or for fun. Like you earned it. I was there as a guest speaker. So for me, that was fun. Um, I also hosted a leader retreat that you also earned. And all of those things were amazing and they were so great and they were so awesome. But I, I know sometimes it took me away, my focus away from things like the basics because we did fun things like making reels and talking about like our fears and overcoming these things. And I think that is such an important part of the business. But anytime that takes over from the basics, which is what I let it do for me, it shows in my numbers. So um, I just want to make sure that everybody knows when you're looking at your rate of run, it's just to tell you where your business is at, not where you as a human being are. Okay. So your activities on a day-to-day -day basis are who you are. It's what you do. Um, so if you are watching hours and hours of, of Netflix and then looking at your business going, ah, eh, it kind of sucks. You're making that decision. But if you're in the, the trenches, as they call it, if you're doing the reach outs, if you're doing all the things and your number isn't quite where it belongs, it, that's okay. That just means that it hasn't caught up to you yet. Let me turn that down. Oh, funny. That's Maria with her um, 90 day checkup on me. Okay. Let me turn that down. So, um, so keep that in mind. So one thing I want to say before we dive into some of the stuff we're going to do is don't forget that today is BOGO on the breast cancer awareness 
um, labels, white, black labels um, in ultra. So it's buy one, get one. Clearly the best time to do it is today. Um, I actually had a lot of success with the breast cancer DFTs. We just like, I'm, I'm like, in this case, I would purchase them, have some extras. And then I would just literally send like a thank you card to my customers and say, you know, wanted to make sure you at least got to see how pretty these are. Cause you may have a customer who doesn't order ultra or doesn't order black label, or maybe they order black label and they see this cute white and pink. And they're like, I don't know what that is. Um, I've answered that question four times today. What is the difference between that and black label? So you may have someone that's confused, but I'm telling you, they love, um, you know, when you rip off the DFT, like you can just put two, they're just, this is missing, but anyway, it's a little plastic with the DFTs, right? You just put a couple of those in like a note card and people love that. And then the other thing I keep an eye out for during the month of October is anyone on my Facebook who maybe talks about, Hey, pray for my so-and-so, or, um, I have a girlfriend from high school who's like, this is my eighth year of being a survivor. When I see those things, I also rip some of those off and I put them in the mail and I say, Hey, this is just one of the many things that we have at Thrive, but it made me think of you because obviously it's breast cancer awareness. And I just want to share it with you. Um, I just think it's that little step that doesn't take a lot of time, but it makes a big difference. So you still have time to order those and you still have time to send those out to people. Um, you know, just because October ends, unfortunately, doesn't mean breast cancer ends. Um, so you'll always have a reason, unfortunately, also to send those to people. Um, okay, so I want to dive into some of the, like, I know this is like mindset stuff we're supposed to talk about, but my mindset is, is that when you stick to the basics, you, you get kind of get out of your own damn way. Cause I think it's really easy for us to be like, oh, well, we need to try this and we need to try that. And this is the new way people are doing things when, yeah, sure. You can try all the new things. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm doing reels. I switched to zoom, all that stuff, but you have to stick to the basics in one way or other, or it's not going to matter. So one of the things that Jason and Paul talked a lot about in Vegas, and they talked about last night on the phone, was when was the last time you shared your link? Which I know sounds so silly because you're like, duh, it's on my Facebook profile. Or duh, it's on my Instagram profile. But when was the last time you just flat out shared your link? Um, now, knowing what I know that I've learned over the years with social media, if you just put your link in your post, Facebook, whatever, whoever, Zuckerberg isn't a fan of that because that's going to pull people away from Facebook and put them on a different site. So I just put, if you're curious about what I do, check the first comment. And in the first comment, I just put my link. Simple. And I walked away and didn't pay any attention to it till this morning. And I forget, Sarah, I sent it to you. Let me see. I have a screenshot of it in here. Um, well, first of all, I woke up to one of those um, notifications saying that I had referred a customer, which is awesome. That means somebody was on my link and they created an account. But then I logged into the cloud and it's under my team updates. It said you enrolled a new customer, which means not only did they create a new account, but they actually placed an order. I don't even know this person. Never met her a day in my stinking life. Um, but I did track her down through uh, uh, Facebook and I sent her a message and just said, hey. So I used to do a message where I'd be like, hey, are you the Gail that placed an order for Thrive? And I don't, they don't seem to respond. I've had a couple of people, but this time I was just like, hey, Gail, it was so great to see your Thrive order go through last night. And I actually pointed out to her in my message just very quickly to let her know that I, I am here to help her. Um, she placed it on a regular. She did not place it as auto ship, which is a real bummer because it would have counted for Punicana, but whatever. But I was just like, hey, I noticed that you ordered um, not on auto ship, which is fine. Your order's still coming, no problem. But next time you order, I can save you some money. I'll walk you through how to do that without the pressure of a regular auto ship. I forget exactly how I said it. But anyway, point being, I got a new customer from sharing my link. Um, what I know I sent that to you this morning. Maybe I just sent it to you and then deleted it, Sarah. I don't know. There was something like 14 visitors and then like you like the unit. Here it is. 14 unique visitors and 23 site, however they were that. So like 14 different people got on my link and opened it up. When they start looking like the, the bigger number, the 23, that means they clicked on different pages. Um, before I put my link on last night, I only had two website hits all day. And I knew I had those website hits because why? Because I threw out an offer for trial packs yesterday. Bare bones, basic. If I sent you a Thrive Experience trial pack, would you take it and give me your honest feedback? That was the post. That's all I said. And I ended up getting several people, a couple of promoters, <laughs> and a couple of other people's customers 
who said yes, but then the other people were actually new people. So I was actually able to sign up a couple of people yesterday for customer accounts and get them in the system um, also for the sample mail outs. So I just asked the question about trial packs. I got a couple of, of um, I, I mean, I know they're just trial pack people, but I still consider the customers. And then I just sent out my link, posted my link publicly, and I got a random order. So again, that is as basic as it, as it gets. I asked people if they wanted to try it and I shared with people how to find it. Why don't I do that shit every day? Like literally every day, right? Um, so something that I have been doing in the past that in my mind, I'm like, well, yeah, my link is on Facebook. My link is there. I have a link tree. So L-I-N-K-T-R-E-E, -E, link tree. I just have the free version. But basically I, you can go to link tree I think Lacey, Lacey Vamos is who told me how to do this one, but you go to Linktree and you can put in your link. And so you can, like, if you go to my Linktree, it's got my little face. And then underneath it says, um, click here for my nutrition hack. And then under that, it's like, click here to move your body, which is then the link to our personal training business. Um, and then I, something like click here to have more energy. So I have several different ways that I say, click here for that would lead them to my Lavelle account. Um, but you guys, I've not been sharing my link tree. So just because my link tree was on my Facebook profile didn't mean anything. It was just, it was like buying that fancy, fancy dress and putting it in your closet and never wearing it. <laughs> That's what my link tree was doing for me. So I'm determined to put my link tree out a heck of a lot more. Now, the nice thing about having a link tree, unless you guys know something, I don't know. I find it very challenging to share links on Instagram because you can click the bio, you know, that whole thing. Like it's not as easy as on a Facebook post where they can just click it. Um, but again, it, as tricky as sharing, click the link in the bio might be, I'm still not doing it. So I'm going to start doing it. I'm going to start putting that in all my posts, click my link in the bio. Um, because again, if I don't tell people where to find it, they're not going to know how to go get it. Um, so I'm checking my time here. So the other thing I want to ask you guys, um, and this is something that I think maybe deep, deep, deep in the back of my mind, I was struggling with not in the last four or five years, but when I first started as a thriver, it's like, are you proud to be a thriver? Um, like, you know, I always say treat this like a business, but mentally it can be tricky because like when you talk about your day job, you have a boss or a manager, whatever, they're there. You see them, you have talked to them, they walk by, um, maybe they were at the Christmas dinner, like you, you actually physically see it, know it and feel it. It's tricky when it's the cloud office and it's these people who you see on Facebook or it's these people that you see up on a stage and maybe drive Palooza. So I think sometimes there's a disconnect there. And typically it's not until you get to your first trip or your first VIP um, dinner at a trip or something like that where you really are like, oh crap, like they're right there. They're real people. The people who built this company are real. And as many times as I've had that opportunity over the last six years, I will tell you reading Jason's book. Thriving is what finally, truly all brought it together for me. So if you haven't read that book yet, I encourage you. I hate, I shouldn't say I hate. Um, I'm not a reader. I do not enjoy reading, but that was a really easy book to read. Like if I'm telling you it's easy, it's easy. Um, and it really, really helped put all the pieces together for me because I have met Paul and Jason several times. I have spoken to them briefly several times, but that's like at an event or at a dinner and it's kind of fast and it's like reading the book was like sitting down and being like okay tell me tell me all about it and he's he's very open about everything that he went through to get here all the times he should have quit the times he lost everything the times he got let go um how how Lavelle almost didn't even become Lavelle um so many things and when you read all that and you really understand the story of not only the company, but of the, of more Jason, obviously, because it's his book, but of the men who built it, you're going to be really, really excited and even more proud to be a thriver, which, why is that important? Why am I rambling about that? Think of something that you're super proud of in life and somebody made fun of it. You don't freaking care because you are so proud of it. You're like, they just don't understand. They don't get it. So if somebody is saying no to thrive and you're like, and you're like offended or you're worried about it or what do they think about me? You're not truly totally like it's not flowing through your blood yet that you are a thriver through and through. And you'll know when you feel that way because you'll be like, well, that's okay. It's not for everybody. Bye and move on to the next person. 
So I encourage you to read it if you haven't read it yet. I also encourage you to um, just try to start thinking about Paul and Jason as the real people that they are. <laughs> like I was going to say, start thinking about it like real people. They are real people, but you know what I mean? Like they're not like Paul's not going to walk in here in my office this afternoon and be like, hey, how's it going? Did you get those, those customers signed up? Like, thank God he doesn't come to my office and say that, but, but they are real people. And so the more you connect to them and the more you understand the company that you're connected to, I think you're going to feel even better about getting out there and promoting it. Um, uh, okay, so one more thing I want to do. Oh, I'm doing pretty good on time. I'm going to try <laughs> to share my screen. So bear with me, Miss Sarah and anyone watching. Share screen. Okay, share. Oh, hi, I'm doing it. Okay, so I want to encourage you guys to go to your Facebook profile. One of the things that I, even though I say not to say this, one of the things that I feel on occasion is like, who the hell am I going to talk to you? I don't know who I'm going to talk to you. I don't know what I'm going to talk about. I, you know, I don't know. Everybody I know knows, blah, 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 blah. Well, so today, thinking about the basics, I went to my Facebook profile. I find this much, much, much easier to do on a PC, which is how I'm showing you tonight. Um, not that you can't do it on your phone or your iPad or whatever, but I, but you'll see why I like it on the PC better. Um, but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my friends tab, which I'm already there. So we have friends now. Now on the PC, Facebook is going to pop up and say who you talk to the most. So shocking! Look at that. It's a bunch of thrivers that I'm talking and commenting with the most, right? Poor Tom. He shows up like, oh, Sarah, there you are. He shows up like him and my dad show up after Thrive people. <laughs> Whoops. But anyway, so I'm going to go to this and I'm going to, um, actually, I want to go to my followers right now. This is what I was working on before we got on here. These are people who follow me. We're not necessarily Facebook friends, but they've taken the time to click the follow button and follow me. So I have a feeling we're going to find a lot of thrivers, which is fine. But I also am curious who we're going to find in here. So what I like to do is hover over that person. These are our mutual friends. Neither one of those people are thrivers. So I'm actually going to right click. and I'm going to open that person's profile up. Okay. Not going to do anything with it yet. I've just got her up there. She's hanging out in the wings. Um, this girl. Oh, this one says right here, Lavelle Brave Remote. I don't need to get to know her. Megan Keller, I don't have any mutual friends and it doesn't say what she does. So I'm opening her up. Kendra Foster lives in Mississippi. She follows me. I don't know why. Um, I'm going to open her up and let's just go like, here's what, so like this girl has seven mutual friends. When I look at those friends, when I, those are all thrivers. So that's fine. She can follow me all she wants, but I'm not going to take time to try to get to know her. This Kelly Ray so she's a certified body jam person. So let's talk, let's open that up. So now if you look up here at the top, I've got four different profiles opened up. I can click on this girl's profile right here. She's a, an RNF, uh, Rodana Fields consultant. So maybe that's why she's following me. Maybe she's like, oh, it's a fellow network marketer. So I can start scrolling through. She hasn't posted anything public. It's funny, like when I do this, I start noticing stuff that people do wrong. So her, her last public business post was April 2nd. Today is October 27th. So maybe she doesn't sell it anymore. She just hasn't changed her. Yeah, the only thing she makes public are her business posts, nothing about her. So I really don't have anything to talk to her about. So click this Megan girl. She's a mother and encourager of Trailblazer. She lives in Georgia. She just recently up updated her profile picture. That's cute. Let, let's see, one of her pictures on here. Oh, she has a picture of Lindsay Dickens. So guess what? This girl's a thriver. We don't need to get to know her. Kendra Foster, Matthew's wife and Huntley's mama. She has a Thrive123, so we don't need to get to know her. Kelly Ray Shelton. So you see, I'm going through these people kind of fast, but this is a really good way to go through all the people that, you know, you, I've never talked to any of these people. I've never met these people a day in my life. Um, okay, cute. So let's see. So six hours ago, they were helping out at the homeless community for lunch. She's cute. Uh, Spirit week was this week. Tacky, tacky day, wacky, tacky day. 
she's talking about depression and anxiety and she's not afraid to talk about it, which is good. She shouldn't be afraid to talk about it. And she has something funny political. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll back up here to Tacky Wacky because that's easy for me to, to say. Um, I'm gonna see what the comments, whoops, what some of the comments were. She looks wacky, too cute, what an outfit. Perfectly reasonable, she's so adorable. Let me look at that outfit. I love it, dream team on her jacket. So I'm just going to say, remember, I don't know this person. Never met her day in my life. So cute. Who came up with the outfit? And that's a question. So I made a question to a person I don't know, and now I'm done. So let's do the same thing. Oh, I have been mentioned in a comment. So let's do the same thing, but let's go to the friends. And this time we're just going to go to like our all friends. Um, I have been on a friending frenzy lately. So I'll go to recently added. I made a comment to her today and her today. Um, so this is a girl I don't think I've connected with yet. So again, I'm going to right click and open her up. Oh, it doesn't show me all my recents. Okay, let's just go. So if you go into friends, again, how I said, it's going to show you, it's going to populate for you by like who you talk to the most. So just scroll, just scroll. Keep getting down there to people that you don't talk to on a regular basis. Don't interact with on Facebook on a regular basis. I haven't talked to Annie in a while. I haven't talked to, talked to some of these people. I just talked to her yesterday. So this gal actually sent me a message yesterday about Thrive. So I'm going to open that up to see if there's anything I can comment on. Um, I'm just scrolling so fast. My troubles have, my computer's having trouble uploading the friends list as fast. So anyway, so you see what I'm doing, right? So um, here, so I'm opening, so I'm right clicking on the person's name and I'm opening it in a new tab so that up at the top of my screen, I have all these profiles now that I can go into make a comment, ask a question, click out, make a comment, ask a question, click. This to me is a super fast way to get in and do all of your conscious comments or whatever you want to call them. Um, I know we've been focused a lot on Instagram lately with the three, two, ones, but remember you can three, two, one people on Facebook also. So anyway, I just wanted to share my screen and show that with you guys so that you have an idea of one way to kind of burn through it. And again, you can do the same thing on your phone, but when you, for me on my phone, when I open someone's, if I go through my friends list and I open that profile, when I go back to my friends list, it starts over. Um, now on my phone, my friends list is alphabetical. So that's, I don't know why it's different, but anyway, that's how it's set up for my, for my phone and my computer. But so you could focus, you could say, okay, today we're going to do A's, tomorrow we're going to do B's, like something like that. But again, the more people you come into contact with, the more people are going to are going to have the opportunity to be like, what does she do? And that's what you really want people doing. You want people to be curious about what you do. When you show up to your social media every day, or you show up to your job every day, or you show up to the PTO meeting or wherever it is you're showing up on a regular basis, when you're showing up and you have that little sticker on and you're um, friendly and you're happy and you're energetic, people start to notice that. And when it happens on a consistent basis, people start to get curious. And I'm the same way. Like when I'm newly following somebody on Facebook or Instagram, I'm like, oh, what are they doing? Where are they at? And I love stories because I'm so super nosy. Um, so I'm constantly in people's stories, just trying to learn about them. So remember people are in your stories trying to learn about you. Um, so I can't encourage you enough to be talking with your own voice in your stories. Um, there are some days where I don't feel like talking. So I get it. And you'll know, you'll know, because you'll go through my stories and there'll be a picture <laughs> or something like that. But the majority of time, I get more interaction if I'm talking to people, even if you look like crap, which by the way, on Instagram, there's no reason to look like crap. There's a million filters. Um, but it's all about how many people can you come into contact with? How many people can you connect with? Because again, you're a happy, proud thriver, right? And you want people to know the company you work for and the lives and like the fact that you actually have the ability to help change people's lives. I mean, if there was like 20 people in a room, I can guarantee 15 of them, well, it's 2021, so maybe 19 of them need Thrive, right? They're stressed. They're probably not sleeping well, probably not eating as well as they should. They've not taken care of themselves. Um, a lot of people need Thrive. So it's just a matter of you showing up and being that Thrive girl or boy 24 seven 
and being proud and excited about it. And then making a conscious effort to get in and to contact and talk to as many people as possible. And you guys just saw me. I don't know that girl that I left a message about the wacky tacky jacket and who came up with that, but she'll respond earlier. Somebody commented, or I went through like, so I did, this is how I do my reach outs. So earlier today I went through and there was a girl on there who, um, who I am connected to. We are Facebook friends. I don't know how, but we are. Um, she had made a post about being a Scorpio. Hello, I'm a Scorpio. So of course I chimed in and was like, oh my gosh, this is so relatable. When is your birthday? And she wrote me back and told me her birthday. And I was like, oh my gosh, we're only a few days away. She's like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. So like, you know, you're like, oh my God, are we best friends? Because <laughs> we're both Scorpios. Um, so you just have to like, to me, I just have to relax and be like, okay, I'm just here to meet people. It's like speed dating. Like how many people, how many profiles can I open on that top bar on my PC and scroll really quick, make sure, you know, and again, if it's a thriver, move on. Um, when I was looking at the followers earlier and those were thrivers, I don't worry about that. They're just following me. If I was opening a bunch of my friends and they were thrivers, I would be unfriending them. Um, not to be rude or mean, but they could come back in and follow me at a different, you know, but we don't have to be friends because I don't want to see their stuff. I know that might seem bad, but I don't want to see their stuff. So anyway, that's just what I wanted to talk about tonight. My mindset is back to basics because I think it's such a relief. Like, honestly, it's a relief to go to the basics because we all know how to do the basics. We know how to share our link. We know how to share stories from the fan page. We know how to add people to the Vibe and the Thriving customer group. We know how to either package up a sample or order a sample from the back office. We know how to set up a customer account. These are not hard things, right? And so it's a relief just to dive in and do that. So my mindset is all about the basics, all about getting that, that wheel churning again, getting new people. How many new people can I connect with? Um, I, I don't know. Like, and I will tell you one, one more thing before we get off here. When we were in Las Vegas, there was like this leadership thing that Samantha um, Cox earned and she was able to bring a guest. Well, I don't think Russell wanted to go and be her guest. And she, she asked me, which I was super honored as her upline to go and be her guest. Um, so we walk into this ballroom, you know, in a hotel ballroom and they have all these big tables set up. And they're handing out these bandanas. And so right away, we're like, okay, we have red bandanas. So we're like scanning the room for the other red bandanas. And we're like, does that mean we're competing with them? Or are they on our team? Or like, what happens? And um, so you're in this room and all of a sudden you start looking around and you're like, wait, that's so-and-so that spoke on stage at Thrive Palooza. And wait, that's so-and-so that's, you know, um, a million dollar earner. And like, you just like, for me, I'm like, oh, I start getting excited. And then I start like shrinking. <laughs> And I will tell you one girl who I just have admired from afar, we all have, just walked right up to our table and was like, hey girls, I, I'm Lindsay, how, how are you? What's, what, you know, what's, are you having fun? What's going on? Like she just, hi, I'm Lindsay. Like just introduce herself. And in that moment, I was like, that is why she is a millionaire because she just introduced herself to people. She didn't ask a world rocking question. She didn't have to come up and give us some kind of magnificent performance. She just walked up and said, hi, I'm Lindsay. What's your name? That's really all we have to do in this business. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to leave you with that. Thank you for being on here, Sarah. Thank you for being on here. And thank you for um, doing the basics with me yesterday. It was super, super fun. Um, Sarah did the, uh, if I gave you a trial pack or if I gave you a, however we worded it, sample pack of the Thrive Experience, would you try it? Blah, blah, blah. I think she got like 10 sample packs out yesterday. Correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe you're up to, you might be up to 20 by today. Um, but again, like something so simple, but so profound. So um, just remember to walk into the rooms, whether it's real or virtual, 10 packs plus a plus, 10 packs, trial packs, plus a one, wait, and one plus line. Ugh. That sentence was hard for me for some reason. So 10 trial packs and a plus line item she got sent out to someone or to people all just from one post yesterday. Now, I, I, and again, I'll throw this out there. I don't think we need to make the same post every single day, but since I made a post on my Facebook wall yesterday about a trial, I'll put something in my Instagram stories about a trial. You know, like you can move it around and we could do a reel about a trial. Like we can just keep moving that ball around, but keep that ball up in the air because that's what brings people in. Um, so yeah, so the last two, my last two go, got no attention. And then I waited like two months. Yeah. 
And that's, and it's weird too. Like it always makes me think like there has to be something in the air because I know I've thrown out puss like that before to crickets, but I will also tell you when I put on that, um, on my page last night, if you're curious about what I do, click the first comment below. I think my husband was the only person that like gave it a heart, but clearly people saw it and clearly people clicked on it because my website showed that. I so wish our websites would show who is who, but I know they can't do that anyway. Um, so yeah, so walk into every room, whether it's virtual or real and just say, hi, my name is, what is your name? Like that is really the basics of this and then get conversations started. Um, remember if you're doing trial packs, put people in group chats, throw them into Vibin' and Thriving, let them get exposed to the community, to the excitement. Um, and I have a good place to ask questions for too. So I will put this recording up. Thanks. Bye.